All right. Good morning, afternoon, whatever. Welcome to the video. It's a nice rainy morning in Miami today. We're on the way to the gym right now, but I figured. All right. All right. Windows going up. Windows going up. Okay. Um, I figured today is a good time to make this video and I had to give the tripod back to Abe because I was borrowing his tripod so hopefully my camera doesn't slide off my fucking dashboard that would suck um, but uh, as you can tell by the title of this video we're gonna talk about psychedelics and I've, I've never like felt called to make this video because it's insane it's absolutely insane how brainwashed they got people to be about the whole psychedelic like topic um, it, 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 just, it just starts with questioning things like, bro, even look at the fucking this. Like, look at this, bro. A ginormous vodka poster right there. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And once you start to question these things, like, hmm, alcohol is insanely romanticized fucking... What up, boys? New new whip? It's fire! It's fucking fire! Taking the whole month off. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be there. Yeah. To hate the video. <laughs> so, like, as I was just saying, so the fucking and they just asked me to go out. Like everyone's just going out. Like I, I would definitely would have. I, I definitely would have loved to go out for sure. Especially with them, they're the homies, but it's just crazy that like, they've gotten people to think like psychedelics are these fucking awful thing. When psychedelics are actually more natural than humans are. Like, mushrooms have been on the planet longer than we have. They come out of the fucking ground, bro. How can you brainwash a whole civilization to, to, to like despise something that comes out of the ground and promotes for like thinking, and that's why they that's why they romanticize alcohol so fucking much because it suppresses you. It suppresses the shit out of you. Like someone tell me one benefit alcohol has other than some like liquid confidence. You probably can't uh, because there are no benefits. That's why. Um, which is just absolutely fucked to think about. It's absolutely fucked to think about because it's the most accessible thing. On the planet, you see it on every TV commercial. You see it in every store, damn near. Kids are starting to drink it younger and younger and younger. Um, it's like the cool thing to do. You can't go to a party without like their alcohol being present. And it's just like, even if you're not getting drunk, what alcohol does to your body that you can't really notice until you've had like years of doing it is crazy like it's it's just like destroying everything destroying your consciousness most importantly like it's making your brain like 10 times foggier it's just absolutely insane so psychedelics what psychedelics does me is i gotta get into that i can't just talk about how bad i think alcohol is obviously um and the thing with psychedelics is it's not addictive at all like I've probably done psychedelics, and I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, I've I've never opened up to the public about this, so this is, like, my literal first time because I was hesitant because I was, like, nervous for people's reactions. And then I realized, like, why am I nervous for people's reactions? Like, this should be shared. Um, but it's just crazy. It's just absolutely fucking insane because, like, you say, yeah, I did, I did psychedelics. People are going to fucking start tweaking on you, you know what I mean? Like, it's insane um but yeah i uh i did my first time when i was 17 um absolutely insane but i wasn't really like as conscious as i was when i was 17 so i was just like i started it basically it, oh, it's so hard to explain because the experience is so powerful it just basically unlocks like this whole it unlocks like this whole new view of life and like a lot of people ask me how I think the way I think, how I'm so aware, how I'm so like conscious, whatever. And a lot of it's due to psychedelics. And like people who've done psychedelics can tell by how I talk that I've done psychedelics. It's like a community almost, where it's it's kind of like an unspoken like thing. Um, 
but basically mushrooms will make you question everything they will make you question every single belief you've ever bet like believed um just your whole reality you'll question um and back to what I was saying about them not being addictive, they are the least addictive thing on the planet because once you, when you, when you trip, like you trip hard, man. Like it's like, and you can't really explain a trip, you know, to someone who hasn't tripped because you're just tripping, you know. It's like you're just like, holy shit, I'm tripping. Um, you can't really explain that to somebody. And like after you do that, it takes so much of your brain power because you're thinking in ways that you've never thought. Your brain is firing at speeds that it's never fired at. Um, so like you, like it exhausts your brain. Like I, I've never done it like twice in a month, like, because it's just like, it, it, it fucking, it, it makes you tired, like genuinely. Um, so how I do them, and I'm not telling you to fucking do this if you're, but now they're using it. Now they're using psilocybin as a cure for depression and like anxiety and PTSD because psilocybin literally just makes you feel so connected to everything like to yourself to the earth to the fucking trees to other people it makes you feel connected to everyone and everything bro and it's absolutely there's nothing there's nothing on this planet that has made me feel the same as that where it's just like i'm this ball of loving energy um and like it, it tapped me into my actual purpose like there'd be times where i would be like exactly like anxious and then um i would do mushrooms and it would just give me immense clarity but I go into the mushroom trip very intentionally where I'm like okay I write down before I do the trip like what I want to gain from the medicine because it's a fucking medicine like there are like civilizations that use psilocybin as a traditional medicine same with like ayahuasca and fucking like it's just insane to me how we've moved so far away from the and then and it also makes you think about like food and how we've moved so far away from all the natural things in life like it's like we're trying to get farther away from living a natural life and we're trying to live like a fucking artificial life it makes no sense like with like the medicine industry like how they're just like take this pill and you'll be better but even though that pill causes more side effects then you have to take a pill for that side effect and then it's, it's it's just like this never-ending loop. Rather, when you take psilocybin, you realize, like, yo, all the answers I need, I already have within me. So I'm not going to look externally for something because it's all already within me. So what I would do every time I would trip, so I trip about four times a year. I make it a super in intentional, like, very ritualistic experience because, like, I want to get the most out of the medicine. I want to be super intentional. I want to be grounded. I want to learn as much as I possibly can if I'm going to do it. So... It all depends on your, your intention behind the use of it. Um, because, because like there, I do know people that just use shrooms to trip, uh, to have a good time, and that's not gonna teach you anything in the long run. Um, like you have to be insanely intentional because whatever you wanna learn from the fucking medicine, it'll teach you, bro. Whatever you wanna learn, whatever, whether it be about yourself, the world, other people, there was this time where I did it when I was kind of in this toxic relationship and I was just like, it was taking up a lot of my time, uh, cognitive space and energy. So I did them. And one of the things I wanted to learn from it was whether or not this person was a good person to have in my life. And it, shrooms will tap you into that everything is energy. Literally everything is energy. Um, Cause the second I thought about that person while I was doing them, my body just changed like states, energy states. And I hated how it felt. So I was like, holy shit, if this is the energy that this person is providing to my life, I do not want them in my life. So after that, I literally told them like, yo, like no hard feelings. I just don't want you in my life right now because I just don't think you provide good energy. Hopefully you don't take that personally. Um, Cause then you, you realize that everything's energy. The trees start moving. You realize you can manipulate, you can manifest anything you want. And like shrooms, elevate the shit out of your emotion um making manifestations so much easier but i'm all right guys i will say like it i'm not telling you to do this if you're not in a good place mentally because it can be an insane experience a bad trip is not fun um but basically the, the best way to avoid a bad trip is just like 
telling yourself and reminding yourself how temporary the trip is. Like, this is just temporary, this is just temporary, this is just temporary. Um, but I'm like, I'm literally not advocating for you to do it at all in this video. It's not what I'm doing. Um, I'm just saying that they were a huge fucking part of me getting to where I'm at mentally. Um, and I hate how psychedelics are shined in a bad light when they only have done good for me. And everyone I know, they've only done good for. So it's just absolutely befuddling to me that people have such a negative perspective of something that's so beautiful. You know, it just makes no sense. Like, and I can't believe, like, it's just like, they romanticize, it's, it's all strategic though, you know? Like, they romanticize alcohol, they put it on every fucking billboard in the country, but you can't do this thing that makes you think it's illegal. Like, who the fuck decided to make this shit illegal, you know? Like, it's just, it's just crazy to me. And there's so many documentaries, so many studies on how, how beneficial it can be for your brain, your body, your just everything. And it's just, it's one of the most beautiful experiences of my entire life. Um, truthfully, it, it, it made me spiritual. Like, it literally made me spiritual. I'm not saying this to, like, make you want to do it. I'm not, that's not the point of any of this video. I could give it two shits if you did psychedelics or not like I first time I did them um I was 19 I was in my college dorm first time I did acid I was 17 I didn't even know what it was I was just offered it and we were in a really comfortable setting so I was like okay whatever um it was interesting <laughs> um I do know people that have like done psychedelics and done them too much where they fall off the deep end and they're just like <laughs> kind of out there you gotta avoid that. Like, just don't do them too much. It's kind of like that simple. Just like do them four times a year, then you'll be fine. Um, first time I did them, I was 19. I was in college and I was in the dorms when we did them, which was a crazy environment to do it in. I wouldn't recommend that at all. But we didn't know what we were signing up for. So we did them and I was, we were all just tripping, you know? And like, I really, I really just realized my power as an individual, you know, I was like, holy shit, like, I can really do anything I fucking want, like, I'm a powerful individual, and you know, it'll really tap you into that power, and I feel like that's why it's, it's illegal, because it'll make you realize, like, yo, I'm kind of in control of fucking everything here, like, my whole entire life I'm in control of, and that's what it kind of, that's why, that's why I have the tattoo, Create Reality, that's why my whole brand is Create Reality, I have a course called Create Reality, like, it, it just, because I realized from like the medicine that I create my reality. Like I'm really in control of all, all of this, you know? It's like I can literally do anything I fucking want. It's just I gotta figure out what I want, but I can do anything I want. Like this is my world. That's another big teacher. You know? It literally teaches you that this is your fucking planet, you know? Like this is just as much as your planet as is anybody else's planet. So that's why it's insane to me how they can tell people that shrooms are illegal because they come out of my planet, you know? Like, this is my fucking planet, you know? Like, just as much as it is your planet, just because you're an old white guy in a suit as a congressman doesn't make this planet any more of your planet than mine. Like, who the fuck says you have a jurisdiction here? Um, I'm honestly really skeptical to even post this video, even though this is very valuable. It's just, like, I have no idea how, um, how people will take this, you know? It's, it's, very, it's a very controversial topic when it really shouldn't be at all. It really shouldn't be at all. Um, it's, it's, it's actually insane. Um, and obviously, just don't do them from anybody. Like, if you're going to do them, get them from someone you trust, someone reliable. Do it somewhere very, very comfortable where you're not going to fucking run into anyone that's going to, like, interrogate you. Um, do it with someone you're super, super comfortable where you can talk about anything that's on your mind. Bring a notebook bring something to fiddle with like a tennis ball um, and do not go on your phone the last thing you want to do when you're doing it is go on your phone because you look at your phone like some foreign fucking like alien device you're just like what the fuck is this thing and then you look at food like I one time I was tripping and I looked at Taco Bell and I was just like what the fuck is this like what the fuck actually is this but then you eat fruit when you're tripping and you're just like this is the greatest thing on the planet like, this is God's gift to us. Like, this is insane. Which it actually is, bro. Like, how the hell does something that come out of the ground taste so delicious? It's just so vibrant and colorful and fucking 
scrumptious. It's crazy because the planet provides everything we need and the psilocybin will make you realize that. Because it's a fucking mushroom that you're eating that makes you feel such insane. We're talking about a fucking mushroom here. Isn't that insane? Like, we have mushrooms all the time for dinner. But this one mushroom just has one fucking difficult, different chemical compound in it that makes your brain think differently. And it's fucking shamed upon. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's a fucking mushroom. It's like it comes out of the ground, bro. It's food. It's meant for us to eat. Obviously, if we're eating other mushrooms, why don't we eat this fucking mushroom? All the mushrooms are meant for us to eat other than the fucking poisonous ones, obviously. But, like, it's just, like, it's so insane. It's so insane. There's this doctor called Dr. Sabi that like found ways to like cure cancer hiv aids all through holistics which is like just foods and medicines that come out of the fucking ground and he just died randomly really weird hopefully they don't come after me for this video i mean i don't, I don't think they will because i'm not that like big but it's just like there's a lot of information that i have in my brain that i don't i can't talk about because i'm like not scared but it's just like i don't know if the world is ready Like, in every single food, bro. Like, 95% of the food we eat is just not even food. And shrooms will wake you up to everything. Like, a lot of these people you see on the internet that they're woke, I almost can guarantee you they've done shrooms. Can guarantee you. Shrooms just taps you into this awareness that, like... I honestly... I wouldn't recommend anyone over the age of, like, 30 to do shrooms. Because even after... I did them when I was 19, and even after I did them when I was 19, I, I was like, I kind of had like a little sense of regret, because like, I was like, holy shit, I've lived this long, I've lived this long, just being completely oblivious to the matrix that I'm in, like, holy fuck, I've lived this long without even noticing this, any of this, it's like, if my parents did shrooms or something, like, I would, I would, I, I told them not to, because I feel like it's too late, you know, they'd, they'd look back and be like, what the fuck? my whole life bro my whole life like some people I'm not saying my parents are but some people are so deep into the matrix that like I wouldn't recommend you do shrooms because all your paradigms are gonna shatter all of your paradigms will shatter reality as you know it will not be the same reality as you know it will not be the same but if you're gonna do it just make sure you're in a good place mentally and there's nothing that you're getting like super anxious about even though it'll help you. It'll it'll literally help you with anything that you're going through because it'll give you the answers. It'll basically be, like, shrooms will basically tell you, like, look, bro, you don't need anyone. You don't need anything other than yourself. You're going to be fine, to summarize. But it also just taps you into this awareness. See, it, the, there's so much that it brings to me and to you, to whoever. There's so much that it brings. Like, I can't. I don't even know how to formulate it. I don't. And you know how I do my videos. I don't like to, like, structure them. I just kind of go off the rip. Like, maybe if I sat down and, like, wrote a fucking story about what these things did to like change my life then I probably could but I don't want to do that because it's just like not me you know just, I like to keep it just like like we're having a conversation and, and you're just like listening I guess because it's crazy bro. it's really 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 crazy um acid I've done acid like probably four times but like I don't really like acid because it, it, it really it really makes me feel like I'm a, I'm a computer you know, it, it it's crazy. It's really crazy. Uh, it makes you feel just like, what the fuck? And the visuals you see are crazy. Uh, but one time I did two tabs. And that was it for me. That was it for me. That was that was that was that was it for me. That was my last time ever doing that. That was that was really scary. I was looking at the ground. The ground was like had a bunch of Louis Vuitton logos spinning, and I was just like, all right, bro. Like I don't need this shit anymore. Like that's that's crazy. <laughs> I'm like cool on that for the rest of my life. Fuck. Um. Yeah, but, uh, it'll, yeah, it also teaches you just to, like, look at everything with an open mind, because before I did, before I did them, I'd, like, I would hear about people doing shrooms, and I'd be like, bro, you're fucking crazy, like, that's crazy, like, that's a lot, and it just, it teaches you not to judge things, bro, not to judge other people, to judge things, you just look at everything from an unbiased point of view, unbiased perspective, like, when people tell me things, I never look at it as absolute truth. I'm like, yeah, that could be. That could be true. I don't know. No one knows. What is true? What is false? You know, it's just like, yeah, maybe. There is no definites. There is no definites, basically, bro. Like, we don't know shit. 
and it makes you realize like they're convincing us so much that we're so advanced as a species but like why is everyone fucking stupid <laughs> like dead ass and I'm not like I'm not I'm not saying like I'm super smart or some shit but it's just like I feel like so many people are just so unaware of their surroundings like what the fuck is going on in the world man it's crazy it's crazy it's really crazy um yeah yeah it's crazy it's really crazy that's the, that's really only the word there is for it bro this is like the first thing I've talked about since I've woken up it's like 8 in the morning right now um and I haven't really talked to anybody before this so like this this is like getting my brain going it's firing me up firing up my neurons my neural pathways you know it's really it's warming up the brain for the day which is nice and I'm about to go work out I'm at the gym I'm parking in the parking lot um I'm about to go get an absolutely heinous pump. But uh, if you guys enjoyed that video, dude, I need I want to know you guys' like thoughts on psychedelics after watching this video. Like, and did this change your perspective? Did like what was your perspective going into this? What is your perspective now? Um, like, just let me know what you thought of this because like I tried my best to summarize the whole experience. I've done them like 10 times. So it's like every single time it's different. Every single time it teaches you more and more shit. It's crazy. Because you, you become aware from the first experience. And then the second experience you're already aware. So then it boosts your awareness. And it's just like this fucking snowball effect. It's absolutely insane. So leave in the comments what you thought of this video. We're about to go get this fucking heinous pump. Hopefully this playing this song doesn't demonetize my video. That would suck. But uh, everyone, have an insanely productive day. Let's fucking get after it. I just felt like that was very necessary.